So, you have just found out about ML agents. Before you continue and try to learn this framework, you need to know some things. ML Agents is a framework that extends the Unity game engine with machine learning capabilities. Many of my viewers ask me questions like, can ML Agents do X? I will tell you what ML Agents can and can't do, so you know if it's the right framework for you and your problem. Let's start with the basics. ML Agents is a reinforcement learning framework meaning it's specialized in problems where an agent tries to learn via trial and error by receiving rewards and punishments. Examples of this include typical game playing like shooting games, jump and runs, chess or even driving. An agent starts out executing random actions like moving left then right without any knowledge to where its behavior might lead until it receives some rewards, like collecting coins, reaching a goal or winning a game. When it receives a reward, the pattern of actions leading to the reward gets reinforced. Ok, before we dive in deeper into reinforcement learning, we should cover what this framework isn't. It isn't suited for supervised learning. This is the classical way you probably imagine machine learning. You have some labeled data set like photos of cats and dogs, labeled with either cat or dog. The learning algorithm processes those images and learns some kind of model that hopefully generalizes beyond the training data. The big difference between supervised learning and reinforcement learning is that the supervised world is static and the reinforcement learning world is dynamic. It changes based on the actions our agent takes. The labels of our cat and dog images won't change, no matter how the algorithm decides. This is not the case for reinforcement learning. You can easily imagine how in a driving task, crashing into other cars influences the data the agent receives. Hopefully you now have some intuition about what category your problem is in. If you are trying to do object recognition or language processing, some kind of classification where you already have a set of data that can be labeled. I would recommend checking out PyTorch. If you have a dynamic environment that is game-like, ML Agents is a very good way to start. Now, with that out of the way, are there any prerequisites for working with ML Agents? I would say there are comparably few. If you have some experience with the game engine Unity and c -sharp, this is fantastic. Unity is a whole beast by itself and is often used to create complex 2D or 3D games. If you have no experience with Unity, you can start with some tutorials that teach you some Unity basics first and then jump into ML Agents. But jumping directly into ML Agents also works, though it's a bit more challenging. I would say choose whatever learning path you prefer and don't worry. ML Agents really is one of the most beginner-friendly ways of getting into machine learning. Now, you are ready to embark on your learning journey. I would advise you to start with this video. To learn the basics of ML Agents, link is in the description. Following that, I recommend this video. It provides a simple example you can easily follow. If you get stuck at any point, I highly recommend joining my Discord server. There you will get answers quickly. Some closing tips. On the ML Agents GitHub page you can find documentation. This documentation is pure gold. If you read it carefully, you can pretty much find answers to every problem. There are also example environments provided. These are also great. They provide best practices. That's it. Enjoy the learning. For more ML Agents content, consider subscribing. I have set myself the goal of reaching 10k subscribers till the end of 2020. So subscribing is much appreciated. If you really enjoy my content, you can also support me on Patreon. Thank you. Have a great day. Peace.